okay we will do now the rockwell hardness testing using this machine this machine has automatic measuring of depth which will tell us how much is the hardness directly by giving us the number in this display so all we have to do is to put the right indenter which is here and this in this case for rockwell testing the indenter is very small to look into you can see the indenter size is very small this is 1 by 16th of an inch and here it is also steel ball we have different scales in the Rockwell hardness testing as explained in the lecture HRA, HRP, HRC and they depend on the indenter type and also the load we are going to apply and the load will vary depending on the sample we are going to test in this case we will test the same three samples and let me explain you the samples now okay the samples we are going to test today are again the same in Rockwell hardness testing steel, aluminum and brass what we can see for the steel which is a ferrous material the for the load we are going to apply is 100 kilogram force which uh, using the 1 by 16 indenter which is again hrb scale for aluminum which is non-ferrous we are going to use 60 kilogram force using the same indenter 1 by 16 and the and this is called hrf scale and also for brass we are going to use 60 kilogram force which is again hrf scale for all the three samples, we will take two points reading in order to make sure we have the right um, uh, value of each one of them. Let's continue with our test for the first sample, which is steel. The lab instructor puts the sample on the hardness testing machine table. Then we adjust the table by rotating this wheel to make sure the sample is just about to touch the sample. Uh, the indenter is just about to touch the sample here. Once the indenter is touching the sample, after making sure the sample is touching the table, we need to make sure that the machine is in the right loading condition, which is should be in the 100 kilogram loading position. If, if we change the, 100 kilo, uh, the machine to 100 kilograms loading, the display turns to HRB automatically. This is the default setting in the sample. While adjusting the table, the machine has the automatic system to tell us by making a beep sound which will tell us that the sample is in correct position. Okay, now we are ready for the testing and we can proceed with the testing. This machine in this case has automatic starting system and now the machine will put the load for 15 seconds and then finally give you the value of hardness which is 88.7 HRV in this case. Now after the first reading we are going to readjust the sample and make sure the indenter is in another position and we will take the second reading. This time again we will make, rotate the table until we hear the beep sound. Yes, now the machine is ready. The machine will automatically apply the load for 15 seconds and give you the hardness reading after some time. Here now the test is almost now the machine is waiting and applying the load and now we have the value which is 90.6 HRB for the steel sample. This is the second reading. In the Rockwell hardness we are we don't need to uh, measure the sample indentation by micrometer afterwards or microscope afterwards uh, and we can see the indentation marks here are very small and these are measured by the machine automatically by taking the depth of measurement for these indentation marks and we have the two indentation marks and the reading we have calculated let's move to the measurement of hardness rockwell hardness for the aluminum and brass samples okay now we are placing the brass sample in the machine which is non-ferrous material while the indenter is the same type once we put the sample, we will make sure the load now is in 60 kg because we here we need a lower load for non-ferrous material. Once we have this, we can see that the scale is automatically changed to HRF. The next step is to adjust the table and make sure the sample is just touching the indenter. In this case, we can hear the beep sound once it's done. Yes. Now the test is starting automatically by the machine. You can see the machine is applying a load 
of 60 kilogram for 15 seconds and then it will give us the hardness value of this brass sample here in this case we have 81.9 hrf as the hardness of brass sample let's repeat the same reading for another point on the brass sample so we'll just readjust the sample to another location and make sure the table is merely touching the sample here you hear the beep sound and the test starts automatically in this case the test uh, the machine is applying the load on this sample and here we will have the hardness reading for brass sample it's the second hardness reading in this case we are having a value of 94.6 hrf now we are repeating the test for aluminum sample this time we will keep the machine in the same scale which is the 1 by 16 inch indenter and 60 kilograms load which is the hrf scale we will adjust the table so the sample is touching the, uh, uh, the indenter and now the machine will start the test automatically to give us the hardness rating of aluminum sample in this case the hardness of aluminum sample is coming out to be 78.7 hrf and now we will repeat the same for the second position of the same sample in order to have an, a, a two different re, uh, two readings in the same sample once the machine is almost touching the sample we will start the test and the machine will calculate the hardness of aluminum sample in this case in this case the hardness value is measured to be 81.0 hrf and now we have measured all the three samples let's have a look at the indentation marks for three of them okay these are the three samples measured for the rockwell hardness testing we can see the indentation marks here are very small but this are automatically measured the hardness value is automatically measured by the machine this was the steel sample now we are looking here at the aluminum sample you can see the aluminum indentation marks here and this is the brass sample and now we have completed the rockwell hardness testing thank you